Well, if you live in Sioux Falls, this is your chance to help shape the future of the city's swimming pools. Kelly's Kelly Volk tells you how you can get involved. A majority of Sioux Falls's pools may be closed for the season, but the city is opening up a discussion about the future of aquatics. A lot of our pools are old. A lot of them are in the you know 50 years old range, which is you know kind of a feat to be able to keep an outdoor pool in this climate. You know, operational that long. Pools at Frank Olson, Keene, and McKinnon Parks are being eyed for potential replacement. Meanwhile, other pools could get some upgrades. A series of public meetings kicking off tomorrow will give the city ideas on how to address the needs. When we go forward and make major investments in our pools, we want to make sure we're serving the community to the best we can. Savannah Coulter uses an outdoor city pool often in the summer, but with the season winding down, she's swimming at the Midco Aquatic Center. She wants to see a second public indoor aquatics facility in the city. We just have too many people that want to go swimming. The upcoming meetings will offer more opportunities for people to weigh in. Swimming and aquatics is, is uh, really important to the Sioux Falls residents. We, uh, every time we pull the community, it comes up as one of our most important recreational opportunities. And so making sure that we provide the, you know, the proper experience and the quality of aquatics for the community is important. In Sioux Falls, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. The first two meetings will address aquatic citywide. They're happening at 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock at the city center on Tuesday. The meetings on Wednesday will be more focused on specific pools. The Keene Park neighborhood meeting is at 4.30 at the Keene Community Center. The Frank Olson meeting is at 6.30 at Cleveland Elementary. Patton says that there will be more meetings in the future.